Buddy. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here remember to press that subscribe button down below and also to leave a like and a comment if you liked our video and you are allowed to ask us questions because we love questions. Oh we're doing a so, Q&A? Yeah I okay, mean if you guys want to ask us a question yes. down in the comments do anything it. about the recipe uh -huh. or about us ask them down in the comments. So today we're going to be showing you guys how to make a good eggnog. Um, Rock and I tried it for the first time maybe two years ago. Yeah. And it was pretty good. Definitely more of an American thing, but Definitely. I think it's slowly coming here. So um, we made an alcoholic version. You can, of course, make a non alcoholic version if you want. Vir virgin? 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 Virgin. <laughs> so we are going to make this baby for you on this video. So stay tuned for how we make this beautiful eggnog recipe. We decided to make a bit of a Christmas dessert. Mm -hmm. uh, it's more like a custard, actually. But people use it as an alcoholic drink, which it doesn't have to be alcoholic if you don't want it to be. Yeah. But uh, we want it to be. So yes. first, you need to measure for us two cups of full cream milk and two cups of cream. Thank you. Two cups of cream. Two cups of cream. Okay, let's do the cream. Well, you know what? I would assume that that is two cups, so I just use that whole thing. So should I just put it in? Uh, but I yeah. feel like the water's not boiling. So. It doesn't have to boil, but it's not. Oh. It doesn't boil. Ah! It boils it burns. On you. Muffins. <laughs> there you go. Okay. All right. So uh, next is the eggs. Mm -hmm. um, if I remember correctly, it was the. Uh, the yolks, they needed half a cup of sugar. Okay, so, the yolks. So, yes, the, the wow. eggs have already been separated. Okay. There's whites and there's the yolks. So I'm going to use the spoon? Yeah, half of that. Uh, with sugar, half a cup. Yeah, half a cup of that. Oh, uh, wow. So we're using a, a Woolworths Muscovado sugar. Musco sugar. Muscovado. I mean, I don't really know what it is. But it has a bit of a molasses taste to it. You know what molasses is? What is a molasses? <laughs> it's like, I think vegans have it instead of uh, honey. It's like a uh, honey substitute. Wow. But it's natural, so. Molasses. Of the spices. Okay, great. Let's do this. I'm gonna go first with this ground cinnamon, but it's so hard to open. Okay, then. So I'm going to pour it over the pot because I don't mind getting a little extra in. All of the spices we're using are non aerated right? That's right. Free from cancer. Okay. Yeah, free from cancer, everybody. And the last one I'm going in with is... Oops. Okay, and then the last one I'm going in with is nutmeg. Super hard to find. Mm -hmm. Our Starbucks spice. Yeah. And eggnog because it's sweet as well. We'll give you a pass. Last one, I'll just open it. I think we might even have to take it all together. Okay, right. so we've been stirring this for how long now? Like, like three, minutes? three minutes. Yes, so we're gonna put it back on the stove now just to get it a bit hotter again. And then we're gonna add in our egg yolk and sugar. I really did beat this to become a very nice thick consistency, so hopefully it will work. It's looking really creamy. So while the eggnog is warming up, we're gonna just use some sugar now and add it to our egg whites. I'm gonna just put in two tablespoons. Yeah, right? just two tablespoons. Because I did make a mistake and pour the whole sugar into the oven. So it's gonna be really sweet. <laughs> it's so, gonna be super sweet. Yeah, let's get this. We'll put it in, show you what first. Leave a comment below if you guys liked our cooking. Uh, we'll 
more video. I, I want to do more videos. So. You want to take over the channel and pick up videos. That's nice. But let us know what you think in the comments down below. Hey guys, we are going to open gifts for now. Well, it's the uh, kind of a tradition in my family because we're German. So the night before Christmas, we open the present. Mm -hmm. Don't ask me why. Lucky it was me. explained to me once. I can't remember. But we're gonna do it today. Okay, this Christmas tree looks really decorated. Yeah, I tried my best. It's oh. a real Christmas tree. Um, we set it up in this video. Um, I'm gonna tag it above. Um, and we went online and we looked for it because we wanted a real tree. Um, I couldn't like get around to getting a fake tree. So this is what we got. And it was 400 Rand, which is not too bad for a young couple. I don't to know spend. how much a fake Christmas tree is, isn't it? Um, it's about in the 2000s range. Really? For a really so good it's one cheaper now. to buy a real tree. Buying this <laughs> out um, for a while now, so yes. we put it under the tree for me. Yeah. And uh, Rocket knows it's my favorite brand. Cute. How pretty. Wait, what's it say? Brave. Mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. This is for me. I got a few pieces from Zara. And you love I, that place, eh? I love it. They have really good quality clothes. And I buy a few things from them. So it's not like I buy a lot of things. Okay, so I wear a size 38. So I got these. Um, they're kind of like a snake pattern on them. It's really cool. And chop to go with it as well. Um, this was all Sheldon's doing. Like he picked out a few pieces um, on Zara's website, and then I chose the ones that I liked the most, and then he tried to work with what I liked. Um, the next thing I have is just a really cool pair of cream skinny jeans as well. I love skinny jeans. I don't know if I should have done a chat on the haul for this, but if you guys follow me on my Instagram, you'll probably see these outfits on there because I'll be wearing them very soon so this is another right. piece this is the white dress i remember seeing this picture and i was like i didn't trust sheldon i thought it was gonna look ugly but he has such great taste and it looked absolutely phenomenal when i tried it on in this white shirt i, I have been this loving one. white shirts. oh wait I, yeah no, I so that. it's got a bit of yeah it's got a bit of a pattern at the bottom okay now that we're done with the clothing haul if you guys want to see it you're gonna have to go onto my instagram i have probably taken pictures of these I probably won't take pictures of these today, no. No. but you guys will see them on my Instagram. By the time they watch the video, yeah. maybe there will be some photos. Mm, I don't know about that because you will be uploading the video today, right. <laughs> so I'm cutting that out. So I believe in not only buying presents for one another on Christmas, but also buy something for your house. You know? Yeah, buy give your, your house, house some presents. You're right. This is from Yappy Shed. This is our first order from them and we're so excited to open it and check it out. So, okay, cool. I'll open this one because oh, yes. no, this ready. is this is my first time getting something from Yappy. You've, you've ordered something with your parents, so. The card, it's very nice. Um, some wrapping paper. Ooh. Ooh, it's from the face. It's a yeah. utensil holder. But... Oh, yeah. guys, I've been needing another one of these. I've been eating one of these. You got a, a pizza slicer? It's a pizza slicer, one guys. One of the best pizza slices. Wow, and it's like you say, as well, my French way. Got some other boxes. I know what they are. I don't know if you know what they are. One's called Japan Candy Box. I love their stuff. Yeah, it was really good. It was good. Check out our other video um, that we did. On yeah, other, we'll link uh, it candies. above. Right. And down below for you guys to check it out. Uh, so this company is a little bit cheaper um, than Japan crates. Also, you get less candies. And then I saw they have like special holiday edition ones. So I was like, hey. Okay, cool. Let's check this one out. Wow guys, look at the inside. I love the packaging. It's so beautiful. Everything's always so neat. Um, so the first thing we get obviously is their booklet explaining all of the candies inside. And then the next thing that they have, of course, is the actual candy bus. So wow. that's so funny. You want to try it? Let's read what it says. Which one is that? The, the apple. Uh, even though the candy is thin like paper, it is full of rich green apple flavor, celebrating the autumn fresh fruits harvesting season. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, that looks so good. It looks great. like a sour strip. It does, like a sour punk. Thanks, bro. Cheers. Doing. Mm -hmm. Oh, we still have that whole pack from the previous one. Really? Season. Yeah. Okay, guys. So we're gonna try one of these. See what the hype is about. Since the can. Mm -hmm. That's actually really good. Let's do this. Already sliced this one open just so that we don't have to waste too much time. I think this is a kind of like, I don't even know how to explain this sweet, but it's a very powdery consistency when you bite into it and chew it. And it's of course in a coffin box, how cute. It's a caramel corn. It's caramel corn, guys, but it Caramel really, corn, yeah. Yeah, it looks like fling. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is a traditional Japanese brown sugar treat that has been popular in Japan for generations. This version features a special Halloween patch. The game on the, mm -hmm. on the box. It literally looks like it's stuffed with chocolate. It looks so good. I think that's it. All the other presents here are for our family. Yeah, so we, we obviously can't open them, but yeah. I will definitely show you guys what they say on my Instagram. So. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. And if you like this video, please remember to subscribe for more or like, comment, and don't forget to share. We'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye!